going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. No, Melania is the the perfect example of what should be in the White House. By as what far metric? As, you know, <laughs> women are concerned. Are you white? You're very tan. I am very. Oh, I'm a Sicilian. What are we watching, guys? What is this? Oh. Sh Regional Manager Sporting. <clears throat> Hello, larger region regional manager Bob Zap Goldzorp. What's going on? I'm getting reports that you guys are only logging eight to ten minutes of pre-invasion prep a week. Other pods are logging in way more time. We're doing our best, sir. Yeah, this 24-hour news cycle is insufferable. It really is. Well, the even larger region regional manager said, I got to sit in on you guys. And I've got a lot of shit to do. All right, fine. Honestly, let's just get this over with. So just do what you do. I'm not even here. Gleep, cue it up, please. You won't hear a peep? Nothing. Just go. The Lord told me very clearly to prepare and be ready. Be ready for what? Okay, I don't know. We're coming to a Red Sea moment. What does that mean, Lord? Was that a period reference? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he he is sexist. The Lord began to wake me up uh, through this three-week process we're in, in the middle of the night, and... He rolled over to me. <laughs> hey, Mike, wake up. Mike, Mike, <laughs> I see you sleeping. I hope it wasn't like, you know, because I worry when people are watching me sleep that I'm scratching my nuts and letting them fly. <laughs> I know I'm doing that on airplanes all the time. <laughs> At the time, I assumed the Lord is going to choose a new Moses. Like Moses, I too am a basket case. <laughs> <laughs> the part I missed in Hebrew school was the part where Moses is the ninth person they selected after going... <laughs> Going through eight previous Moseses. <laughs> After a tumultuous voting round. It's America's next top Moses. <laughs> yeah. That makes me feel good that that he's hearing voices. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Weird. You know, my Lord said Mike's not Moses. So how do we solve this? Your Lord is clearly fake. I really don't know. Two gods go in. One God comes out. <laughs> God cage match. The Octa God. Guess we'll just have to take his word for it. I don't know. Clearly God was doing this by height. He kept getting smaller and smaller. <laughs> but I want you to take a look at how they're trying to portray you. Weiss may have indicted Hunter Biden to protect him from ah. having to be deposed. Yes, in the, in the, he indicted him to protect him. The classic rubric. Wow, is he Tapper a guest on Alien Super Show? He, he's, <laughs> yeah. He's, he's literally, yeah. He's literally <laughs> commenting in the middle of his own interview. It's a dunk on him. <laughs> you weren't able to see Tapper during that interview, right? You're just hearing him in your ear? Because if you could have seen him, you would have said something. <laughs> Did you see him? Because he was really making fun of you. It was brutal, man. I gotta tell Did you. Did you see him? Because he looked good and you looked like you always look terrible. <laughs> Maybe the sarcasm wasn't playing in your earpiece, but his yeah, face yeah. clearly thought you were a jackoff. Comer went on Newsmax to basically get a clockwork orange with videos of himself. He's making your investigation sound like a joke, and he's trying to make you look like a joke. And then they and hear then you talk, and they know you're that. a joke. Well, that's the first time I went on CNN in three months. Is that uh, TV's Frank? <laughs> wow, I never made that connection. I'm pretty sure that's TV's Frank. He's just doing a southern accent. It's the, the tip, tip of, of the, the iceberg, iceberg we, people. <laughs> we are on the inside of the looking glass. You know, Jake Tapper is an intelligent guy, but he's playing to a low IQ audience. <laughs> Mm, not like you. Not like your audience. I'm pretty sure when cold fusion is invented in a sink, it will be a Newsmax. And <laughs> yeah. It's maximum news. It's the X clone of news. <laughs> yeah, the show was called Wake Up America. Wake Up America. Jake Tapper's making fun of you. In real time. And now for all you cord cutters out there, here's Tucker, untethered. Something big is coming. Oh, uh, what? Feel <laughs> Suddenly, everything seems at stake control of the world and of your soul. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> your soul. That's right, America. Tonight you'll be visited by three ghosts. <laughs> Tucker Carlson, Stephen Miller, and Alex Jones. <laughs> it's quite the new set. Warm tones, very rustic. Yeah, I didn't realize he was made of wood. <laughs> I just want the entire background to look like my face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna bring in my family, my wife made entirely of wood. <laughs> I think this falls in line with him becoming a real boy. <laughs> I'm a real boy. And I've got a real network now. So we built a company called Tucker Carlson Network. From the people who mainstreamed the Great Replacement Theory. And documentaries like the White Power Testicle Tanning Hour. I get it with the Proud Boy Network. It's a package. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> PBNN. Yeah. And with TCN, like I know it's not, but all I can think of is Turner Classic Movies. It's people who want to go to TCM and then type the wrong letter. <laughs> That's how they get them. I just wanted to watch Casablanca and now I'm beating a Capitol Police officer? <laughs> you may have already seen some of 
of our content on X. Expect a lot more of that. Oh, is this an apology video? The media going after Biden. Now they're covering the laptop. Now they're covering attack on the dog. The Chinese spies. Attacking a dog. What a pig he is. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't oh, apologize, funny. Tucker. <laughs> is the claim that Biden has attacked his own dog? How could Biden hurt anything like he fell on it yeah i mean i don't know <laughs> biden's uh, so fragile and yet he's beating these dogs <laughs> exactly it's got to be one or the other tucker's really upset by that he's a sensitive man he's a sensitive soul member of PETA. he didn't have much to say when ted cruz left his dogs to freeze <laughs> yeah. or, uh, he is completely out of his mind he wanders around for the entire two and a half years it's getting worse naked in the white house uh, in the middle of the night. Tell me years. more. Yeah, you know, Tucker Carlson's like going slow down. He's trying to imagine it. He's sauntering around sensually. His bare skin brushing up against all the furniture. <laughs> what report is this based on other than like my brain? What is the source for this? Do your research. What is the source for this? Do your research. It's on OnlyFans. Look it up. They have to give him a bunch of drugs. Yeah. A bunch of amphetamines in the morning. He oh. is on drugs. I, I have established that. <laughs> <laughs> I've established that. And I got it double confirmed because I said it twice. Yeah. As someone who's been on drugs <laughs> and been around a lot of people on drugs, <laughs> Joe Biden, if he showed up, you would throw your drugs out. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't look too fun. Well, despite all that, Biden's had a pretty good week. The Dow's hit an all-time high. What's the Republican frontrunner been up to? Hi, everyone. This Hi, is everyone. your favorite president, Donald J. Trump. My last two Trump digital trading card collection sold out. My magic hours. beans are for sale again. You can buy Trump magic beans. <laughs> my digital beans. <laughs> digital beans. I'm back with my latest series called the Mugshot Edition. I wonder where that He's came He's just reading this for the first edition. time. <laughs> yes. It's all new stunning cards and here is the best part. Purchase 47 digital cards digital. and we'll mail you a piece of the suit I wore when I took <laughs> that now famous That's a really good shot. suit. It's so much different from the one he's wearing now. Believe me, a really good suit. It's all cut up and we're gonna get a piece. <laughs> the image of the cut! Uh, <laughs> the way that he says it's all cut up is so funny. It's, it's all, all cut, cut up. up. Hand cut by an MS-13 gang member. They cut them up into little pieces. You're gonna get a piece of it. I'll be autographing some of them. You might get some rags that I wrote on, you might not. It's not an exact science. We can't tell if I signed it or not. There's no way. You might get some threads from some undies I shed and I might not. My digital skid mark collection. This is something to give to your family, to your kids and your grandchildren. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't have any inheritance to give you. I spent all my money on Trump rags. Cherished heirloom. I wish I looked as good as I do on those cards. That I can tell you. They <laughs> this one of him running through a wear. battlefield, Believe shooting me, lightning out of his hands. <laughs> they made me an X-Man and not one of the weird ones, a regular one with yeah. lightning powers. <laughs> we'll all have fun together. Oh. Have a good life. <laughs> Good have a good life. That's what you say to someone. The subtext there is go f yourself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like it makes you laugh so hard, but it's so depressing. I think I hear what you're saying. I've got something that's not only depressing, it won't make you laugh. The Texas Supreme Court is blocking an abortion for a woman whose fetus has a fatal diagnosis. Despite this, the Texas Attorney General asked the state Supreme Court to step in, arguing she does not meet the criteria for for a medical exception. Yeah, because this guy's a doctor, right? Dr. K Pax. Not only is he not a doctor, he's also a terrible state attorney general. His own party tried to oust him from office. It does just feel like hell sometimes. Yeah. It'll get worse. They don't want the ability of, of, of our state to be able to have reasonable restrictions on abortion, which is what this is. I know we're not supposed to make fun of how people look, but every bigot should have to yeah. suffer the melting face disease that this guy has just so just so we can identify them before they start talking. I think he's against abortion because he was involved in some kind of forcep accident when he was born. <laughs> We were looking this up last night. This guy was hit with a berry. It's He has had two accidents. There was the berry incident, and then in college, he got elbowed in the right eye. Doctors needed to wire his skull back together. Thank God for these heroic doctors who have to follow the Hippocratic Oath. It's incredible what medical intervention can do. It's amazing when your trusted doctor can freely act on what they think is best for you. All right, so you, have you seen enough? I think I owe you guys an apology. Now I get it. Yeah, you need way more resources and time. Uh, I'm going to go back to the regional, regional, regional manager and tell him what's up. By the way, uh, if anybody asks, I wasn't here. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, fly on the wall. <laughs>
Hello, Zotox Nation. Zotox here letting you know that you can have tiny little cut up pieces of my copy of Robert Caro's Power Broker, the story of Robert Moses. All the pieces of paper are cut up into little bits for you and some of them might just be the first few pages with the copyright information, but you won't know because they're all cut up by a really important and special person with scissors, and some of them might just be uh, eight and a half by 11 pieces of paper lying around the office. You'll never know, but they're very special to me and special to you. So if you buy them, if you buy 46 copies of digital paper for $19,000, we'll send you one real cut up piece of paper after that. Hiya, thanks for tuning in. If you like the show, help us keep this spaceship going. Subscribe to our YouTube channel or drop a comment. We read them all. If you really like the show, subscribe to our Patreon where we share bonus content that didn't make it on this episode. Okay, gotta go. Thank you. Bye.